Okay, CAD 222 students, um, let's talk a little bit about four bar linkages. Uh, the most common uh, of the linkage mechanisms and the diagrams, how to do them. Um, you're better off to do the assemblies in um, Inventor or SolidWorks, uh, depending on what you're more comfortable with and then to actually do the schematics or the diagrams uh, you can export that into a .dwg and then bring them into AutoCAD. Uh, so let's go over 16.1 uh, which is a four bar with a 4.0 on the fixed and offset a .250. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is pull up. Uh, I'm going to use. I'm going to use SolidWorks. I'm going to first create a part with my two fixed points. All right. So I'm going to do front uh, sketch. I'm going to create a center line that is about four inches long. Uh, do me a nice little dimension here at uh, four. Okay, um, put me two on this side and two on the other. All right, uh, we know that, what is it, uh, D is offset from A or A is offset from D. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to offset this going the other direction uh, to represent 0.25 to represent the offset. All right, so I'm going to put two holes, one here. All right, uh, this is going to be D at uh, point, uh, I'm going to use 0.25. And I'm going to put one right here to represent A. Uh, I'm going to add a relation between this one and this one. Between this one and this one. We're going to call it equal. Uh, that way if one changes, the other one has to change. Okay, so here are our fixed points. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and add some depth to this. All right, so I am going to go to features, to false. And this one too. And now I'm going to actually do an extrude cut on this surface. And let's do a space bar. Let's do a sketch here. We're going to make this hole 0.125. Okay. Same over here. Actually, this add a relation where we can have this one and this one being equal. Okay, my check button. Cut extrude. We're gonna go through all. Turn a little bit to make sure it looks good. And hit my check. All right. So now here I have my fixed points. Uh, I hit my space button. This is going to be D and this is going to be A. So I hit file, save as points or fixed A D. Okay. And let me find a place to put this. Uh, one thing it, with um, SOTWORKS that you will learn eventually is you always need to keep 
the files that are associate, associated with each other in the same folder. So I'm going to put, uh, let me create a, it says problem 61, and we're going to make this to fixed AD. All right, next thing I'm going to do is a new part. Same thing here. I am going to sketch on my front plane. I'm going to draw me a center line here to here. We're going to make this center line. Uh, we're actually right now we're going to work with B and C, and it should be 1.75. Enter, and I'm going to put another dimension from here to here. Uh, I'm going to say 1.75 divided by 2. My check button. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my .25s in here. Uh, same way on this one. And guys, if you want to use your shortcut key, which all you got to do is hit the S key, you're more than welcome to do that also. Actually, let's make uh, a relation between this one and this one as equal. All right, and I'm going to draw a line from here to here, and the same thing from here to here. And I'm going to do some trimming. Bingo. 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 All right, I'm also going to put another. I'm going to put a hole right here. We're going to call this one. 0.125 same over here and we want this to also have a relation between this and this we want it to be equal check button and we should be good to go alright this is bar uh, this is your linkage bar B and C. All right, so I'm going to go to features, extrude boss, and we're going to make this uh, 0.125 thick. I'm going to check. All right, file, save as. We're going to make this uh, bar. C. B, C. And hit my, well, let's go find where I put the other one. Should have defaulted to that one. I don't know why I didn't. 2.2.61. Save. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save as. Say this is bar CD. And I'm going to go ahead and make a change to this in my sketch. And no, I don't think we're making any changes to this one. So we're good there. And I'm going to save this as bar. Nope, that's it. Alright, so I got three bars here. See, I got B, C, C, D. Oh, I need A, B. Alright, so I'm going to save this as A, B. Hit save. Go back into my sketch. And we're going to make this uh, 2.5. And we're going to say 2.5 divided by 2 on this one. And hit my check button. All right, now we have all three of our bars made A, B, B, C, and C, D. 
So I'm going to close this out. Save all. And I'm going to go File, New. I'm going to bring in my assembly. I'm going to do the fixed AD in here first. And this is basically, I think this is the way I want it. All right. Now, this should be fixed. All right, this shouldn't be able to move at all. It's fixed. Next component I'm going to bring in is going to be my AB. Which is a long bar. First thing I'm going to do is mate it. Here. Uh, it needs to mate. To the fixed point on A. I'm going to check this. I'm going to go view. Uh, axis. Oop. Temporary axis. Excuse me. Now I'm going to mate this axis. To this axis. Okay. Now to check to make sure I've got good rotation. Rotate this around which looks good. Okay. Uh, let's put this pretty close to the closed position. A check button. Next I want to import uh, BC. This bar here. Do my mates. Right here to here. Do my check button. And I want to go ahead and do this axis to this axis. Check button. Okay, let's see what we got here. Looks good so far, rotating good. And my check. My next insertion is going to be my last bar, which is CD. Bring CD in. I'm going to mate it. Mate it on the inside. Here. Do the inside. Here. I'm going to check. I'm going to do a axis to axis. Here to here. And hit my check. Alright, there's only one more thing left to do. And that is to... Do my axis to axis from here to here. Okay. This is the full assembly. And let's look at the, this is going to be my open position. Notice that this is the extreme left right there because then it starts to come back. So right there is my extreme left. All right, which is going to be my open position. Let's look at the closed position. My closed position is going to be right there where this bar here starts to come back. All right, that's my extreme right. Okay, this goes this way and this way. So what I want to do, this is my closed position with A, B, C, D. This is what you see in the book. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and do a file, save as, I'm sorry, uh, do a make, make drawing from assembly, save and insert, save the document. I'm going to rebuild and save it. Uh, I'm going to save this as, uh, what is that one? That's the, see, that is the closed position. So I'm going to say problem 16, 1, closed, hit save, and I'm actually going to bring it into a drawing, hit OK, front view, and I'm going to do a file, I'm going to save this as a .dwg. Okay, that one's done, maybe. Okay, that one's complete. 
And I'm going to go back in and go to my extreme left, which is going to be right, right there. Boom. All right. This is going to be my open position. Notice that this is a position where it starts to come. This is the it before it starts to come back. All right. So let's go right there. Because if I went any more, it's starting to come back. So that's my extreme left, which means that's my open position. Right there. Let's get these straight. You need to put a mate on them. You can. You can mate this. Do this. Make it parallel. To check. And I'm going to do a file. Make drawing of assembly. Hit OK. Bring my front in. Hit check. File. Save as. Dot DWG. I save. Oop. I need to make this my open position. Save. All right, that's pretty much how do you make the assembly. Uh, now to go into CAD because you need to add for your closed position. Uh, you need to add solid lines for your open position. The book wants you to use a different color. I want you to use a different color, but I also want you to make it a phantom line in addition to being a different color. <coughs> so let's bring the two positions in. I also want you to label A, D, B, and C. Do all your labeling in AutoCAD if it ever opens up here. All right, so I'm going to start a new drawing. You guys will probably start your template. We're going to call this Save As Problem 16-1. Hit Save. All right, I'm going to open up my first my closed position All right, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do a control C bring it into this drawing, control V All right, I'm going to go ahead and draw my lines maybe, there we go here, 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 here all right, I'm going to delete this, this, this. I'm going to delete my bars, basically. It's like I forgot some of them. All right, I'm going to go ahead and label these. Uh, I believe this is my A. Caps lock. All right. Copy to here. Copy to here. Here. This is going to be my D. Uh, I believe this is my B. And this is my C. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring in another drawing which is my open position control C copy control V alright I know that I can move previous let's move this to where my A and D are on top of each other Boom. Like I missed it. Move previous. Here to 
here. All right, that's better. I'll go ahead and delete this. This. Sorry, guys. Should have drew my line first. Actually, I want to create a layer. It's called Phantom. This layer is going to be uh, cyan, one of my favorite colors. And we're going to make it Phantom. Where's it at? We use Phantom 2. Apply. Okay. Let's change it to that layer. L. I want to go here. Here, here, here. All right, so I want to go back and delete my bar. I don't need that geometry. All right, I want to create these phantom two. These are my other positions. this all right uh, I can either change these to phantom or do a match properties then properties in here to here and here enter all right that's 16 one uh, I need you to go ahead and add some dimensions here to make sure that this is correct here to here should be four which is correct uh, give me my offset distance to make sure that we have that correct also and give me my links this one should be 25 this one should be 175 this one should be 175 pull it out here Okay, this is an example of 16.1. Um, now, you can feel free if you want to do this in AutoCAD by uh, on your own. Uh, you're going to have to draw a circle here to here. And you have to draw a circle from here to here. Uh, I think it explains it on page 681. Uh, look through figure 16 11 12 13 where it figures out your extremes left and extreme rights okay uh, this is 16 one doing it in parametric modeling uh, open and closed position got any questions let me know um, and again uh, you can do this in inventor or in SOLIDWORKS actually to do it in inventor you just do it basically the same way uh, and import it in. Uh, I may have a file that shows it in Venter here. Let's see. Let's open this up in Inventor. And basically it's done the same way. I made, first of all you want to uh, bring in your fixed make it a part bring in your linkages all right and I don't care on it really doesn't matter on the thickness of your linkage what matters is the distance is all right well I've got a problem with bringing this in um, for some reason uh, 
Uh, that's inventor. Okay. Uh, maybe because it can't find the files. But just do it the same way as I did it in SolidWorks. Okay, you got any questions, let me know. Um, this is CAD 222 and review on the four bar linkages. Thank you.